Hi everyone, welcome back. I have some amazing news to share with you all. I came across a tweet from Nat who has created a website called nat.dev where you can use GPT-4 and other large language model for free and even compare them. In one of his tweets, he even joked about tweeting out his open API token for everyone to use it instead of running nat.dev. So let's dive in and see what it's all about and how we can use it for free. To access, just type nat.dev in the web browser and hit enter and you will be redirected to sign in. You can use any of your Google account and sign in. Once you log in, you will see a playground here and the model section on the right side. You have other model as well, but let's have a look at OpenAI. We have all the models available here by GPT-4 is selected by default. And you have Alpaca, Lalama and other as well, right? So let's go ahead and test this GPT-4 model. So I'll set the maximum length as 300 and rest of the things as default. First prompt I'm going to give is that to write a story about how powerful GPT-4 is and then convert the story into rhyming poem. So let's see what result we get from this. So it's pretty cool, right? We are able to use GPT-4 uh, here without having any access to chat GPT+. So that's good. So and another option we have is compare here so let's click on this we can compare multiple models here but this video i wanted to compare gpt 3.5 turbo and openai gpt 4 to add or remove any model you can search here so let's consider if i want alpaca i will search here and i can select this checkbox and it will add it here okay but i don't want that right now so i'll just uncheck this this was just to show you guys how you can know use other model if you want to. Before I start with the next section of the video, I have a request. If you enjoyed this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel. This help with the YouTube algorithm and allow video to reach out to wider audience. Your support really motivates me to continue creating contents like this for you. So to see the compare functionality here, right? I will go to GPT-4's page of OpenAI and this is something which I will try and test. So let's see what results we get. I'll go ahead and provide this prompt and submit this. So let's have a look at the response here. So we can see here GPT 3.5 Turbo has not followed the prompt here, while as GPT 4 has followed everything the way it should. So let's try some other options. So there was another question here that, you know, we have this Andrew and they wanted to find out that, you know, at what time they can have a meeting. So let's go ahead and try this this time. Let's provide this and submit. So you can see that again, GPT 3.5 Turbo is not able to provide any correct answer. Whereas GPT-4 has provided correct answer 12 to 12.30 and 1.30 to 2 p.m. So we can see that, you know, this GPT-4 model is working perfectly fine and we can use it for free here. And one more thing uh, in playground option, you have this so history section. You can click and you can look at your history, whatever you have used it. Okay. So last thing I wanted to compare about the coding skill between this 3.5 and 4. So I went ahead and gave this simple carousel component. What I found here is uh, GPT 3.5 only gave me this basic uh, code, whereas GPT 4 has given the entire code. It has written a better CSS and JavaScript as well. So I have created a NAT dev folder and for GPT 3 and GPT 4, and both the codes are running here. So you will see that GPT 4 is working fine. This carousel is working really fine. And this is the first time code. I have not given any kind of second instruction. Whereas in GPT-3, there is some kind of problem. It doesn't work properly fine. Uh, it has an auto-rotate functionality, but, but there is some error. So if you go ahead and see in the console, you will find that there is some error in the code. So what I could find it is, you know, GPT-4 is able to write a better code compared to 3.5 Turbo. So that's all for the day, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.